How y'all doing, family? This is Chris Fry with Media TV, and I'm going to be coming to you with this news, family. Coming to you from the New York Times. And it says, attacks by white extremists are growing, so are their connections. We've been through that shit. Uh, came out April 3rd, and it says North America. You can see how many dots. You can see Europe. You can see a lot of dots. You can see oceans, Oce Oceania. You can see about three dots. So let's get into this article, family. In a manifesto post posted online before his attack, the gunman who killed 50 last month in a mm -hmm. rampage at two uh, mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand, said he drew inspiration from white extremist terrorism attacks in Norway, the United States, Italy, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. His reference uh, to those attacks placed him in an informal global network of white extremists whose violent attacks are occurring with greater frequency in the West. There ain't no fucking white extremists. It's just white people, period. That's just how they feel. Them fucking demons. An analysis by the New York Times of recent terrorism attacks found that at least a third of white extremist killers since 2011 were inspired by others who are perpetrated similar attacks professed a reference for them to show an interest in their tactics. The connection between the killers span continents and highlight how the internet and social media have felicitated uh, the spread of white extremist ideology and violence. In one instance, a school shooter in New Mexico corresponded with a gunman who attacked a mall in Munich. Altogether, they killed 11 people. Many white extremist killers are inspired by earlier attacks. Circles show the number of people killed in deadly attacks since 2011, highlighted circles and lines show connections from later attacks to the early attackers who influenced them to 2019 the Christchurch attacks killed 50 Tallahassee shooter killed two people uh Toronto van attack killed 10 Aztec high school shooting killed two 2017 Finsbury Park van attack killed one Quebec City Moscow shooting killed six these two shooters corresponded directly. Munich mall shooter killed nine. Murder of Joe Cox killed one. Sweden school attack killed three. Umpqua Community College shooting killed nine. Charleston uh, church shooting killed nine. 2015. Four killers made statements online supporting the Asla Vista uh, attacker. Asla Vista massacre killed six. Overland Park Jewish Community Center shooter shooting killed three. 2013 Wisconsin Psych Temple shooting killed six. 2012 Norway 2011 attacks killed 77. That's a lot of killers, family. And we're only just cracking the fourth month of this year. So you already know they're going to have way more killers than, you know what I'm saying, that's going on. But it's it's just, it, it's, it's going to continue. I just don't see this shit stopping. One object of fascination for the Christchurch killer and at least four other white extremists was Anderson uh, Ber Bering Brivik, the far-right extremist who killed 77 in a bombing. A mass shooting in Norway in 2011. Mr. Brivik's litany manifesto offered a litany of grievances about immigration and Islam, and the attacks became a model for future ones. I think that Brivik was a turning point because he was sort of a proof of concept as to how much an individual actor could accomplish, said J.M. Berger author of the book Extreme, Extremism and a research fellow with Vox Poll, a European academic initiative to study online extremism. He killed so many people at one time 
operating by himself. It really set a new bar for what one person can do. Shortly after the Norway massacre, uh, a prominent American white supremacist named Fraser Glenn Miller wrote on a white supremacist forum that Mr. Brivik had inspired young Aryan men to action. Mr. Miller opened fire on a Jewish retirement home and community center in Kansas a few years later, killing three. Mr. Brivik was not the only mass killer and inspired copycats. Uh, the Christian the Chris Church, Christ Church shooter also paid tribute to a Canadian man who opened fire inside a Quebec City, Moscow in 2017, writing his name on one of the guns used in his attack. God damn, that nigga was that bold. That nigga wrote his name on his gun. That Canadian gunman read extensively about Dylan Roof, the American who killed nine worshipers at a black church in South Carolina in 2015. I remember that. And Obama crusty, dusty, dirty ass didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. He didn't give a fuck. At least four white extremism, extremist killers made statements online praising Elliot Rogers, a racist and misogynist who targeted women in a 2014 spree before carrying out their own attacks. All these attacks occurred amid a surge of white supremacist and xenoxic phobic terrorism in the West that has frequently tar targeted Muslims, immigrants, and other uh, minority groups. Yeah, black people as well. The Times uh, analysis found that the rise of white extreme extremist terrorism attacks in Europe, North America, and Australia. God damn, that's a lot of fucking attacks. But see, this is way more tax than what they're saying, family, because you already know they're not going to put out the, the actual real numbers. It's way more than this. You feel what I'm saying? Because you got to think about the tax that they don't report. But you see in 2011, you say nine. And you see 12, then 2013, 16, then 22, then 2015. That's 135. And you said 2015 to 2017, 65 to 88. It's way more tax than this. But, family, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'll put the link down in the description, family, because they got a lot of shit. They got a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, that you can read and you can understand what's going on. But we already know what's going on. But it's just some good, valuable information to have. And, you know what I'm saying, the show... The royal family was going on as well. But family, y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, drop a comment down below. I'll put the link down in the description down below. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. And I'll be back with another one, family. Love y'all. I'm out.